Hi, Jonathan Maltus again, reviewing 2019 Chateau Tessier and Chateau La Forge. These are wines from the plain, where we have quite a few hectares. Um, we now actually currently have in total 60 hectares, which um, is quite uh, a large um, vineyard. Um, the first one, Chateau Tessier, um, we started picking, I think, around about the 24th of September and finished on the 8th of October. This is um, mainly Merlot and a little bit of Cabernet Franc. 25% um, of the wine gets um, malolactic in barrel. And um, let's have a... Well, great color different from the 2018 in that uh, 2018 was I think much more um, plumpy. This is certainly a wine which will probably age a little longer, although albeit obviously what we're trying to do with Chateau Tessier is make a saint Emilian Grand Cru that can be made, can be drunk um, relatively quickly. So um, what I would say about the wine, um, basically um, black cherries, um, brambles, um, nice vanilla, uh, not, not over predominant in, in, in oak. Um, we, we originally blended these wines back in February, that is with Neil White, uh, Thomas de Clou and myself, and um, they've certainly become more expressive and I, I always know that from On Primo Week that um, as the week progresses the wines appear to get better. I think sometimes we, in Bordeaux, we have on Primo week a little too early, um, and uh, perhaps, albeit it's a lockout, it, it may not be a, um, a, a, a bad thing. So that's uh, Chateau uh, Tessier. Chateau La Forge is also from the plain, but it's um, a, a very different sort of animal. Firstly, it's 92% Merlot, which is the biggest expression of Merlot we do. Uh, it comes from five different parcels, in the main from saint sulpice de Falerance, where we get a little bit of gravel and some crust de fer as well. And uh, we're cropping this, instead of at seven bunches, as we do for Tessier, we're cropping this around four bunches, which means that you've got a much bigger, more expressive wine. It also gets 80% brand new oak, and um, uh, the rest is one-year-old oak. Uh, so let's have a... raspberries, blackberries, and a little bit of, a little note of plum, which is a characteristic of um, La Forge. Um, and uh, as I say, slightly more precise than the 2018, um, with great longevity. So um, there we go. There's, there's the wines from the plane. The next one coming up, three uh, single vineyards from up on the coat.